Have you ever gone to the range and something just awkward happens? Well, that happened to me with my law enforcement trade in 229 here. Um, notice anything wrong here? Night sights, night sight gone. Well, I wonder what this is. Yeah, this is the tritium vial. So, it came out under recoil and, yep, just hit me on the cheek. And I finished up the magazine, and uh, then I looked down, and I was like, I'm probably never going to see it. And then I see this on the ice. So, yeah, that's what my sight picture looks like now, roughly. So, yeah, that's pretty. So, looks like I'm going to have to replace uh, this night sight. Now, granted, these things had almost no life left in them. Uh, I still am not too happy about the sight popping out. Uh, fiber optics do this, sometimes night sights do this, but there's a lot of companies who have done a lot to prevent both fiber optics and night sights from doing this, and I'm actually looking at Trigicon HDs or something like that. I'm not too happy with this happening, even though the tritium was like, uh, you know, basically out of life. So, yeah, I mean, this gun's been run hard by whoever was issued it, and, you know, the wear shows. And this is an old, an older 229, so, yeah, it's, you know, one of the older 229Rs, and the frame is made in Germany. So, yeah, pretty cool. I'm glad I got a German-made, you know, 229 instead of the American ones. They seem to always have had uh, some quality control issues, especially on the 229. Not sure about the 40 caliber or whatever, but... Oftentimes, if you're looking up reviews, it's always reviews uh, talking about how it is when they get back from being repaired by SIG. So, anyways, this would not be able to be repaired by SIG. I'd have to do everything myself or have a gunsmith do it. And now, uh, I'm going to have to have these sights repaired I gotta or uh, replaced. And, you know, I, I could super glue this thing, uh, like turn it around. And just have you know the white dot in there and super glue it. But any super glue with the amount I shoot and how hot I get this gun, um, yeah, I would not want to stick in place. And I'm not going to go with some fancy epoxy or anything like that. I'm just going to get new sights. I'm looking at Trigicon HDs and uh, some other ones. There's some newer sights on the market that I might check out. No V notch sights or anything like that. Um, but Trigicon HDs maybe. But there's a saying that I. Uh, that I've read and actually heard plenty of times, the keep the front sight thin and you're in. So that will help you get uh, better accuracy. However, a wider rear notch and you know a bright front sight would actually help you acquire the sights faster, being a shorter barrel and stuff like that. If you actually are competent with your pistol, you can still squeeze pretty good accuracy. However, V notches like the excess sights uh, might not actually be you might not be able to squeeze too much precision out of it but you know what it's something i'll toy with and uh yep yeah, look forward to running this gun but it did pretty good with uh 40 caliber controlled it pretty well probably because i took down the reloads a bit on uh, on powder so anyways yeah that's a quick video about uh the 229 failing me sig quality it fails when it counts